This is a placard or type of sign that is describing the history of the, the markets that were here in Hamburg, Germany, which were at their peak in the late 19th century. And it's saying how the markets provided uh, vegetables, fruit, meat and fish for for the means of living for the residents in this greater area and how the middlemen would come here to obtain the the produce, the, the, the products and everything and then deliver it to the neighborhoods and that was kind of how the, the chain was established. And it looks like the scale of the place was quite huge. And this was sort of the case of up until around World War One, And then it's, it's saying here how between 1913 and 14, the open mar the market was, the market hall was doubled in size and it was continuing to expand, but then it doesn't really refer, oh, it does refer to the war. It says that after World War II, everything was restored for like industrial purposes and it became more more of like a flower market and and um, kind of went into a decline although restoration has taken place particularly in the 60s so I can't imagine what the smell must have been like here with all of that produce. Here's just a brief panorama of what's the beginning of what I would call the Docklands area, but there are a lot of art galleries and institutes studying design in this area, including photography here. This is the photo um, house, house of photography. And you can really feel that this is a distribution point. I think this is still the second most active port in Europe after Rotterdam or the Rotterdam area. You can see kind of a nice view here. I promise you water soon. This city is very wealthy, although I think that if you were to try to come here and make a lot of money, even as a German, it would be very difficult. Everything's kind of preset and established. And some of this, I'm told, is restored. Some of it is not. Where we're going into, is more developed than other places. One thing I do like about Germany is though it is slower than New York City, you would say. It's much more on the move than other places in Europe that I have seen. And wherever people move faster, that means that money is switching hands more quickly as well. Oh, this must be the, the Hamburg branch of Der Spiegel. I, th I imagine their main offices are, are down in, in Cologne or Frankfurt since they're very finance centric. Oh, and there's a shop with their stuff. I was supposed to go to a German class at the public library this morning, but the library was closed and I'm not really sure where I would enter to get into this class. I, I wasn't anticipating that the library 
uh, main activities would be closed at this hour. It doesn't open until 11 a.m. And I will be making a video about this library's policies for regard